What is going on? Charles Bootenston here, and today we're going to be talking about consistently, constantly trying to impress, prove yourself, whatever the case is. First of all, we have to understand that I'm going to talk about a story after this, but we have to understand first and foremost is that this is human nature. If we try not live for anyone at any time, we're not going to be successful. The tribe, which is humankind, will not accept us. Imagine that, we were just a complete asshole, complete weirdo, someone that we just, we just pushed everyone away because we weren't actually looking to play with others. By playing with others is that you gotta play by the rules if you're in football, you gotta play the rules if you're in business, you have to play by the rules if you're in a relationship. And by the rules, I'm not talking about bending the rules and being a little too cautious, I'm talking about if you go out of bounds, you're out of bounds in football. You overspend in business, you're bankrupt. You don't do anything nice, you don't actually add to the relationship, you're gonna be broken up. There are rules, and then there's things that say, who do you want me to be? Who, who in your mind should I be? That's not the way I'm talking about. So let's just go into this quote that I recently ran by. So he's one of the world's largest psychologists, not size-wise, but one of the biggest. Learn to live for yourself by not feeling, feeling the need to prove yourself to others. Learn to live for yourself by not feeling the need to prove yourself to others. And then he continues, otherwise you'll spend your life living for others. Sound familiar? Top five regrets of the dying, that was number one. You're living your life true to yourself, not what others wanted you to be. This is hard because you have the people that literally put you on planet Earth, your parents or whoever raised you. They've spent money and time and care. They brought you food and clothing and shelter and you say, who do you want me to be? They may have brainwashed you and they said, you have to be a doctor, you have to go to this school, you have to be this certain way. Maybe that's not working for you. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, I have no idea. But you have to understand that there's a difference between good brainwashing and bad brainwashing. There's good when you're being raised properly and not being raised properly. There, there's rules and laws that you have to live by, morals and ethics that we all trade ideas back and forth and it kind of just gives us the route that we should take in life. But this is the problem. If you are not happy, the current blueprint that you have, do I, am I using my looks to be happy? Am I using my money to be happy? Am I using my fame or my status or my, my friend group or the ability that I can travel or go anywhere and say, is this, is this making me happy? right now. And this isn't about happiness, even though I have it as, as one of the tags to talk about, but you have to say, okay, whose life am I living right now? The first thing is, am I living it through social media? Am I living it through TV? Am I living it through business, my career, my relationship, through my money, through my parents, through society, through government? Doesn't matter. Who, how am I living my life? How am I actually, it's not about contribution. We, this is far beyond contribution. This is, this is literally, what are you doing? That's really what it comes down to. What are you doing? And if you want to blog or you want to have a video or a vlog, if you want to start your own business or you want to be in a relationship or you want to have a great body or you want to have a better friend group, more money, whatever the case is, what, what's stopping you? And to be honest, it's the blueprint, it's your identity, it's who you think you should be. So living your life for others is not gonna make you happy. Living a life true to yourself will make you happy. And I'm not gonna go far into this. It's just one of those things that it has to click in your brain. And this is not overnight. Because if you go from zero to 60, you're not used to it. Your friends are not used to it. They'll give you shit. They'll, they'll try and drag you down. They'll question you. They'll say, dude, what are you going to the gym so much? What do you mean you're not going out anymore? What do you mean you're not getting shit faced with us on Fridays? What do you mean you're starting your own business? What? You've never owned a business. You shouldn't own a business. That's not good. What are you making prospecting calls? They start doubting you and they start doubting yourself. So this is, this is a slow step. Okay. This is a day to day step. This is a, you just change a little bit. Maybe you, maybe you wake up early and you consistently wake up early. Maybe you consistently wake up early and then you post about it. Maybe you consistently wake up early, you post about it with a quote. You start moving in the direction of where you want and, and I am telling you right now, the number one thing, Gary Vaynerchuk has talked about this, I think he goes a little extreme on it, but if you do not have any outlet or any road to actually take any path, any instructions, you have to just start. He says, don't live, I don't care what anyone thinks. 
And then he goes, well, I equally care. That dichotomy is really hard to actually find out unless you start taking the path that you want to take. Reading more books, starting that blog, starting that vlog, get going on video. Whatever the case is, whatever creation, whatever your passion is. All right, that's today's video. I hope that fires you up a little bit. Leave your comments below and it, this is over time. I, I would say this will take you more time to have a habit than any other habit. You can easily start eating correctly and going to the gym and everything else, but living a life true to yourself and against someone that you love who's in front of you or on the phone or on text message that could be your parents, could be your friend, could be your girlfriend, could be your boyfriend, it could be your boss, it could be whatever, it doesn't really matter. Being a little bit different than who you have been actually being, that they know you as, that's hard. Because then they start giving you shit and they start doubting yourself and then you stop. They put you right back into that box. They have that little box of who you are they put you right back into that box and then you just go the rest of your life and then you die. Or right before it, you're on your deathbed and you say, I wish I lived a life true to myself and not what others wanted me to live. The top regret of the dying. I hope that hits. Have an amazing day. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Subscribe to the video if this is the first time and uh, let's get out there and, and do it. All right? Have an amazing day.